Hey Rose Garden, welcome to part two of reacting to videos. FT, my friend Cooper. He's eating mandarin oranges. Why the heck are you yeah, eating peaches. a mandarin? <laughs> Wait, they're <laughs> peaches? Oh, they're peaches. <laughs> reacting to the same video, but the part two of it. Jane Animation, Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Go subscribe to Jane Animations. Three, two, one, go. Lol and oops. Lol and oops. I, I want a real life Jolteon. Please give me it. <laughs> if we hit something is so cool. If we hit three hundred thousand lights, we are we are going to try and see if we can get you one. Yeah. Like and subscribe. <laughs> also, you know what will really help us if you if you hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to hit those notifications. <laughs> We're not over with it. Boom! Imagine being lazy. Uh oh. No milk. No milk. No. 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 You can't. You can't be doing this. Kronk came out and killed Move your hand. Because milk was being difficult. But I gave him a second chance and he took out the milk. Yay. Anyway, here's your dusty charm. I went out and caught a Magnemite and MC. Then arrived in Canada. Well, that City makes where common sense. Gym and demolished his team of Scoop and Turk. Then Team Galactic sets off another bomb. Yeah. yeah. This time at Lake Valor. But I gave him a second chance. I've seen this entire video, Chandler. Wait, 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 that is screwed. Team Galactic sets this off another bomb, this time at Lake Valor. So Barry, Professor Rowan's assistant Lucas, and I split up to check on the I love this As part. As I'm scrolling past all the flopping magic cards, I run into Galactic Commander Saturn, who we swept the floor with. After that, we went to where we did the exact Curb same stomp. Course. There was a part where Turk got crit and almost died. Oh god. Oh, oh god. god. But we're fine. He's fine. Finally. Yeah, he's, he's fine. He's totally not having a trauma. Is she good? <laughs> no, she <laughs> fell. <laughs> you can't climb rocks. Come back when you can climb rocks, loser. That's mean. That's I'll go fight Candace's gym now, I guess. Now, we've been having some good tight matchups with the past few gyms, so I haven't really been nervous about most of them. But Candace uses ice types, which, like, half my team is weak against. Which, you know, nervousness rising. Not only was I at a massive type disadvantage, but the mix... Um, by the way, the reason that the camera keeps moving because me and Chandler keep switching because I need to eat my lunch because I haven't had any food today. Because this, because this is a boy right here, he lost his chip to his wireless mouse. And now I have no mouse. Get out of my face. <laughs> I'm about to resume the video. By the way, if you, um, if you see children in the back, just know we're at school right now. And swearing a cool dog. What? Swearing a cool dog. I agree. Let's try not to get demonetized. The main threats on her team were her Obama snow because it hits like a truck and sets up hail, and her frost ice because it'll use the hail from the Obama snow to heighten its evasiveness and its snow cloak. Spam double teams, and then just sweep my team. I walked in, took a deep breath, which didn't make me feel better at all, and started the battle. Shrimp took out her Sneasel, and Squeak took out her Pilus wine, almost dying in the process, and then she finally brought out the big bad Obama snow. Since it's grass ice type, I taught puppy fire blast. Yeah, I didn't know. 
Ridge. Anyway, I wasn't sure it could one shot because puppy's not right, a special right, here, back here. Lo and behold, it did. Please kill it. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. That helps. That was absolutely terrifying. Last but not least, this thing is cool. I wanted to have Scoop rain dance to get rid of the hail so Frost Lassie's snow cloak is inactivated. But since Scoop was sitting at a not so chill 20 HP, that wasn't going to work out super great. However, since I did not want to win this fight at all, right? This part is very sad. You know the shinks that she caught that she named Failure in the first episode? Um, that is him. And he's about to get sacrificed. This the poor little guy. Yep. I'll ask you a snake. Failure looked yeah, up at the looming death that was cross eyes in front of her. And, and as I healed up Scoop, yeah, it was killed in its blizzard. It's really unfortunate we had to resort to it, but I give Failure a salute for stepping up and swearing his life to the team. Scoop came out, got off the red hands, and after a close battle, he was able to go for it. But it wasn't without sacrifice. Bye! Backpack on the front, my friend! The true MVP of the fight. Gone, but not forgotten. Now we can climb the rocks to Lucky Q. Excuse me, what? Barry's got snot dripping. Now we can climb the rocks to Lucky Q. You were sad. She was sad for a second. She sat for like three seconds. Now we can climb the rocks. And then she's like, yeah, we're going to continue. You guys all have to either be quiet or go over there because we have a faculty meeting on closed circuit. Say hi to the fans. Oh my god. Neither of you want any of these snot. Yes! Who wants any of these? Get the I like cookies, okay? Oh my gosh, these are my favorites. <laughs> no, they're mine! They're my favorites, too. Mine! <laughs> Wait, Cooper Chandler, will y'all please come sit over here, though? Okay, take the computer. Here. Just because I gotta focus and pay attention and get my desk ready. Come on! Ow! This is the worst. This always happens, by the way, guys. Always happens, yes. Come here. Oh. You good? No. I'm excruciating back pain. You're literally laying down on books. This this dude right here. Life doesn't stop when your dog dies, so I had to keep trucking and brought Law the Quagsire to the team. With an intense, blood curdling thirst for revenge, I stormed into Cyrus's room. With thirst for revenge, I stormed into Cyrus's room. Anime. Fine. Shrimp and Milk took out his team in no time. I snatched his master ball and used his teleport pad to enter the basement where Mester, Azelf, and Yukira are all being held captive. 
Mike, and like Cyrus, Saturn was swept too. After releasing the late Guardians, we head to Mount Cornet because Cyrus wants to go there and destroy the planet, I think. And we catch up to him at the Spear Pillar. Before we can run up and attack him, Mars and Jupiter step in. Then Barry arrives. Honestly, I have no idea how he's found us all here. And it's like, I'll help. Lol takes out both the Bronzers, Mars is Progly, and Barry's Munchlax. So I thought, you know, it was all smooth Bronzers, Mars is Progly, and Barry's Munchlax. So I thought, you know, it was all smooth sailing, right? Well. well R.I.P. Lol. Really doing a lot for the team, aren't you? Oh my god, no, it has Giga Drain? No. That's her Pokemon that just quick. died. Not only did I not know their goal, but had Giga Dream for some That's reason. Okay. Gotcha. I also got a crit. So I'm starting to feel bad. No thanks. But then I started panicking. The thing is, after you fight Mars and Jupiter, you have to go into the distortion world and fight Cyrus and Giratina. If Cynthia forces us into the distortion world without us being able to get a new member, we're in massive trouble. We finish up the battle and Cyrus starts his whole spiel about how the world is imperfect. Blah, blah, blah. Everything must die except for me. Then he gets swallowed up by Giratina. A hole opens, a rip in space leading to the distortion world. And I'm kind of just standing off to the side, twiddling my thumbs like, Cynthia, please don't shove me in there without my consent. Cynthia, can I, can I go? I have something to do. Our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? I have a family no, to feed. No, I'm not. Huh? Let me go. I'm, talking I'm about free. Oh, you know let get me out of here. Right? Goodbye. Yeah, I'm sorry, not. lol. We just got you, and then you died. But luckily, remember when I accidentally caught that whooper while trying to get a Yanma? It's time, Oops. You are no accident. You're our lucky star who will carry us to victory. We got Oops leveled up, came back to the Spear Pillar where Cynthia was just sitting there waiting for us, and hopped in. Everything is topsy-turvy and the late guardians are telling me to push boulders into holes. And suddenly I'm on a floating crest of land with Cynthia, who's basically like, Cyrus, get lost and never come back. And Cyrus didn't like that. So he came at me. Oops took out his Houndoom and his Gyarados came out, so I switched to Milk. But I was very terrified because Cyrus's Gyarados has Earthquake. So if Milk misses his Thunder here, he dies. And Milk is notorious for missing his Thunders. But it hit. Milk lives another day. He also took out Cyrus's Crobat and Hunch Crow, and Shrimp finished up his Weavile. Cyrus steps aside, and suddenly it's just me and the Angel of Darkness itself. Why are there two purrs? I don't know. I think it has something to do with Garatina. Do you see the link for the vaccine? We just got an email about the survey. I threw the master ball. The link and for the like that interest oh, survey. Watch this, guys. I the world. Now to get back to my gym badges. I arrived at Sunny Shore City and started making my way through well, Vulcan's gym. Like I know he's the 8th gym leader and he's supposed to, like, to be tough and apparently he's depressed because, because, it, because everyone who challenges really him isn't good enough and he's bored. But I wasn't concerned. We have oops and none of his Pokemon can do yeah, anything about it. It's yeah. not like they have Giga Drain or anything, right? They didn't, I checked. Oops was just Earthquake and everything. And at the end, I'll admit, I got a bit scared. Okay, don't grit. If you crit Giga Impact, okay. that Oops would be really good. Oops. Holy. Okay. But it's all good. I'm We're all good. Kidding. And with that, off to Victory Road we went, where we caught ourselves a gab by I named Flakes. Would have been nice That's to have one, one, I don't know, the near the beginning mm -hmm. of the game, say, like, in Wayward Cave, you know. But whatever. Better late than never. It's good to have just in case something goes here. horribly That's wrong out of nowhere. Did y'all do the survey already? Like space sexy, yeah, it is. Amazing. Whoa, 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 whoa. No! You're kidding. Oh dear. And that's the straw that broke the camel's back. After Puppy died, she I angered. stepped back and decided the team we go into the Elite Four with needs to be the best possible team we can build. The Elite Four here goes 
pretty hard, so I couldn't go in willy-nilly just hoping for the best. After literally a few hours of calculations and research, I settled on a team I thought would give us the highest possibility of winning. I added flakes to the team in place of puppy, and with a heavy heart, left milk and crunk behind as I brought C the now magnezone and Colgate the togu kiss I had from the eggs that they gave me. Even though I was sad to not bring milk and crunk and Media center? Media or center. Or your room. Mm -hmm. Is your mom doing things? I mean, she might be actually putting the tables up and... She might be doing the meeting that my mom is doing as well. Mmm. Let's go meet you, Trio. Yeah, because his mom and my mom are, might be as well. Um, are going to be going into a meeting, so we are going to the atrium. No, wait, my mom said we could stay out in the hallway, right? Mm-hmm. This is the perfect spot, isn't it? I, I guess. <laughs> yes. Remember when your hamster got loose? Yeah, that, that was very sad. <laughs> she's gone. Now. I was... Wait, she's gone? Where'd she go? I don't know. One day, I opened her cage and she wasn't there. I don't think like she a... magically disappeared. Also, I don't think we should be eating in the hallway if she's not there. She might be in the hallway. Oh, that's fine. Look into the final battles with us. They won't be forgotten. And it doesn't negate the fact they were such huge assets to the team, and I wouldn't have made it this far without Hello. them. Hey. I'll see you guys on the other side. I took a step towards the doors of no return, and immediately got interrupted by Barry, who wanted to have one last fight. Anyway. Fun, <laughs> dude. Welcome. This is the Elite Four. The battle starts and C takes out Aaron Zan, Mega, and Vesper Quinn. Oops takes out his Rapion and Colgate takes out his Scissor and Heracross. Next up is Bertha. Bertha loves ground types, but Turt and Oops had a smooth time smashing through her team. I felt a oh horrible shiver when her Rhyperior came out, but things went well. On to Flint. Kind of sus. Oh, by the, um, by the way, um, I've never seen this video before. No has Chandler. Yeah, so like we don't know what to. Expect. So we don't know what to expect. Flint has a pretty scary team, but luckily Oops and Flakes had no trouble plowing through them as well. And with that, we're on to the last member, Lucian. Now, Shrimp hasn't had much time to shine in so far. No so I Shrimp! I wanted to let her go all out. She set up sword stances and bullet punched everything. Proud of you, Shrimp. And suddenly, I'm at the entrance to the champion. The trainer who's been known to crush dreams in a single battle, and many still fear to this day. I took a deep breath. Things are going surprisingly well, and I don't know how to feel about it. But I looked up, and there she was. At this moment, I have only one last objective. Nothing. Defeat Cynthia. She like... <laughs> um, by the way, guys, this woman has a very strong Pokemon. I've heard about this video a lot. I know she has a very strong Pokemon. It's a big, she thick leads with boy. She which has no weaknesses, so I sent out Turk to hit it as hard as possible. <laughs> Flakes takes out her Togekiss, and then her Garchomp comes out. This is known to be one of the this toughest is so anime. boss Pokemon in the entire mm -hmm. franchise. And rightfully so. That thing was made by Satan himself, and I'm sure even <laughs> he fears what he has created. I immediately switched to Oops, who's the only Pokemon that can lead us to victory here. I planned to put it to sleep with Yawn, and then Ice Beam it until it died. That was our only hope. But then, oops, just crit. And that was it. Nothing on my team can take a hit from this monster. And even if they could, they couldn't do much damage back. I sat there in disbelief, knowing there wasn't anything I could have done. This is not good. But then, guess what? 
Watch this guy. Watch this. I brought out shrimp to bullet punch it so we could get in a little bit of damage, but she was killed. Oh, Colby dang. tried to chip away at it. He did some damage too, but was crit one shot. At this point, I had accepted defeat. Only Kurt, C, and Flakes were left. It's hopeless at this point. Flakes came out, and against all odds, Flakes outsped Cynthia's Garchomp and killed it. I didn't think he could do it. He was two levels weaker, and I just, I, I, I don't know, I, did, I just didn't think he could outspeed it. Suddenly, there was a chance. We could win this after all. Cynthia brings out her Milotic, which C took out with a few Thunderbolts. Free. Flakes took out the Lucario with Dig. Look, my Earthquake TM is on Squoop, and we all know what happened there. Right, Finally, the last Pokemon comes out. Roserade. Flakes went in for the Dragon Claw, and the battle was yes. We won. With Cynthia congratulating me, a sudden feeling of overwhelming guilt washes over my entire body. So intense it almost knocks me down. I don't think I deserve this. Something here isn't right. This wasn't meant for me. Oh, is this the end of the video? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're just kidding. Back in the distortion world when Giratina split me in two. How do I know I'm me? What happened in the other timeline where I saw glimpses of what happened parallel to this world? That was me too. Those things happened. Was that the ending I'm destined to have? The world I'm living in now is how I want things to be, but the other Jaden is equally me as I am her. Even if you might think I deserve this dimension, things don't work like that. Are there some things you can't escape? Even if you try everything you can do to alter it? I don't know the answer. I may be able to sit on this throne now and thank all the Pokemon that put in everything to help me get here. All the hard work, blood, sacrifices we made, but I don't think I can ever accept this victory. I don't know what ending was meant for me, and I don't think I ever will. Okay guys, that's the end of the video. Please drop a like in the description and comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. Bye! What?